Hello, beautiful people. Well, okay, so this video that I'm in the process of making right now is for those of us who might consider ourselves to be heart-centered exhibitionists. And in being a heart-centered exhibitionist, you also get to be a love renegade. Love Renegades is the name of my business. It is such an extension of my heart and my soul. And in Love Renegades, I get to connect with such beautiful, heart-centered, amazing people on healing their hearts and dismantling illusions that separating them from love. And in that whole process, finding love on their terms, whether this is their relationship, their love life, whatever way it comes up. A love renegade is someone who just, like she or he, follows her heart. She follows her heart fully and completely and loves unapologetically. And being a love renegade at first may not seem like it's the most easy thing in the world, but once you get the hang of it, it is so liberating and absolutely amazing. So in this video today, what I wanted to do was talk to you about an opportunity that I am currently in the process of pursuing. And it includes the contribution of heart-centered exhibitionists. So when I work with clients, we are all about what it is to follow your heart. And this can look different for any person. So what is following your heart to you could look very, very different than what it looks like to someone else. And sometimes when we follow our heart, it is like the, the scariest and most terrifying thing because so often the things that we think that we want or the things that we spend our time aspiring toward are not authentically what our, what our desires are. Instead, it's something that, um, you know, maybe it was modeled to us by other people. Um, maybe it's something that we think, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, maybe it's because like, well, the, like the whole point is we only really know what we know and can accept what we can accept until we dare to dig deeper. And a love renegade is somebody who wants to dig deep and to keep going deep. So in being a, a heart-centered exhibitionist um, where I thought, what the hell am I going to call this live stream? Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's been years in the making, and I say making, but that's not completely accurate because a lot of it has been here in my heart. It hasn't made it out there yet. And what it is, is it has to do with being on TV. And um, I'm just going to announce a guilty pleasure that I have. Um, I watch reality TV from time to time. I am absolutely fascinated with some of the folks who are on these shows. And I find myself just wanting to like sit them down and kind of like, you know, talk them off the ledge sometimes, talk to them about like what's in their hearts. Um, I find myself sometimes coaching them in my mind and having a conversation with them. Um, so, uh, and reality TV fascinates me, and I know that a lot of it isn't real because I have watched Unreal as well, and that terrified me, by the way. Um, and I loved it. I freaking loved the show. Um, but anyway, I was thinking, 
oh my god, like what if I got to get in front of the camera with someone who was willing to be authentic and vulnerable? And when I say vulnerable, I don't mean like set yourself up to get like hurt or taken advantage of. What I mean is like really digging deep and sharing and um, being willing to heal and let other people know um, whether it's one person or it's a bunch of folks watching um, like what's in your heart and what you're going through. Um, growing up, um, I've, I've always been um, a pretty sensitive person and I used to be ashamed of my sensitivity and my vulnerability. I thought that I was like too, um, that I put, that I took things way too personally. And what I've come to see is that it's just because I was so like tuned in with what other people's intentions might be and a lot of people's actions don't make sense. So the point of me bringing this up is I ended up using my vulnerability and my sensitivity to the advantage of myself and other people to bring forth healing. So a heart-centered exhibitionist is someone who's willing to be um, authentic and share their healing process, um, not just with one other person, but with other people who may be watching, and that would be indirect. So anyway, I, I've run a, I've run this idea through my mind and in my heart, and I've talked to a few trusted um, friends about this, and I didn't want like a network to take over and make what I did a joke or to humiliate the people who were brave enough to come forth. Um, oh, thanks, Colleen, and hi, everybody who's joining. I love you all. Okay, um, so... I, oh, I love all the hearts and it's so nice. Um, so I didn't want a network to come in and like make a mockery out of something really beautiful because I feel like a lot of us are shamed when we're vulnerable or when we're authentic and it's a way to just keep people in line and I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I'm a fucking love renegade and a love renegade revolts for love and is authentic and doesn't take other people's shit. And sometimes being a love renegade means that people will project things onto you. And if you're a love renegade, you, you might cry about it or be upset about it. But I made up this mantra, pray, meditate, and regulate. But you got to regulate because a huge part of having your best relationships is setting boundaries. And it's letting people know what's okay and when a line's been crossed. Okay, that was a side note. I'll get back on track with the whole point of this video. So my, my point is that it occurred to me through conversation with someone who I have a lot of admiration and respect for, um, someone who's amazing at bringing her message to, other, to, to um, the masses in a lot of ways, is that I don't need a fucking network. I already have a YouTube channel. But what I do need are heart-centered exhibitionists who would like to work with me privately and who are willing to share their healing journey and their whole journey of creating a relationship or a love life that most reflects their soul's true essence and their heart's desire and to let themselves be filmed during the process. Because without a network involved, I get to choose what's on film and what's not, and I will go in it with the intention of portraying everyone in the, the best way possible. Um, you know, sometimes healing, and especially when you're going... Um, so I talk to a lot of people who... They really like want a relationship, but they think it has to look a certain way um, or the way they're going about it is one way or maybe there's um, some soul level healing backed up with action that gets to take place um, to take to, to start to have that awesome relationship. And um, it sounds simple enough. I think it does. I hope I'm making sense right now. 
Um, but sometimes things are simple, but that doesn't mean that they're easy. Um, when we're starting to do something in a new way and when we're moving, when we're moving forth on something that we genuinely like love and something that's important to us, oh my God, shit can just hit the fan and we can get super scared and we can talk ourselves, um, out of what we want. Um, our junior and junior is a word that I use for ego and, um, Junior can really get in the way of us pursuing something that's different from what we thought we wanted before, different from what others are modeling to us. Um, so, um, anyway, it can be a messy process and there are highs and lows. Um, but I, I work with and have worked with amazing people who signed up to work with me and just to see how, hi Kelly, I just saw your heart. And just to see um, the whole healing journey that they go through, it's incredible, like the courage, the love, everything that takes place. And by portraying this on camera, I think about all of the other people who could watch this and really benefit from someone else's journey because sometimes we just, we feel so alone and we fool ourselves into thinking that no one else has the same struggles that we have. And anyway, so heart-centered exhibitionists, if you are interested in working with me for three months where we, we get in really deep about your, like what you want your relationships to look like and things that you're ready to really heal in your heart. And if you're willing to, to do this and to have our sessions filmed and to communicate me, communicate with me on camera through video, if this sounds at all like appealing to you, or even if it sounds scary, but if there's a part of you that's like, you know what, maybe I want to just extend this invitation to you. So just connect with your heart. And if it's for you, um, let me know. You can tell me publicly in this video. You can send me um, a private message, an email. If you have my phone number, you can text me. Um, there is an application process involved, and what this is, is um, once you tell me that you're interested, what will then happen is I will send you over the application. And that usually in my applications, I ask people to write out their answers, and this, you get to video your answers. Yes, you get to take video of yourself answering the questions and you get to send that to me. Now, this isn't about me approving you or disapproving you or having um, disapproving of you or having like the right answers. I could seriously give a fuck. Well, I don't give a fuck. Meaning that that doesn't matter to me. What does matter is that you see what it's like to answer these um, very deep questions by video and to send that to me. And um, after that, if I feel that we're a good fit for what I'd like to do, in three months, we'll set up a time to talk. Um, in the spirit of this whole project, it'll most likely be a video call. And that's where we will go over the details of what this program is. And um, this program is not going to be priced at what it normally is to work with me privately one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to have a special investment because this is a very, very special invitation. So if this appeals to you in any way, I urge you to let me know about it. Don't delay because your junior will talk you out of it. And 
I will then send you the application and then you can make your video. And seriously, you don't have to look great. I don't, my hair's a little dirty right now. I did shower, I brushed it, I put on some lipstick. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. <coughs> Sorry, when I'm following my heart and this is kind of crazy for me to bring up my big idea and to share it with everybody. Um, so if this appeals to you at all, let me know. I'll send you the application. You can um, do a video with your responses and then um, we'll take it for there and from there. And none of these videos are going to be viewed by anyone except me and these are not going to be a part of the project unless you and I decide otherwise about your personal video later on down the line. Okay, heart-centered exhibitionists, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me and for letting me tell you what's in my heart and what I would like to, to create and what I would like to experience with your participation. Okay, so sending you so, so much love. Um, and please, like, you can share this with anyone who you think might be a good fit um, as well. Um, okay, I'm Lauren K. Wyatt, a love psychic, illusion dismantler, spiritual guide, and healer of loverenegades.com. Bye, beauties.